In this video, I'm going to present a method of calculation of the square root of a number. And uh, later, we will use this method to gain some insight into what exactly the square root and how it behaves and all this. So uh, let us get started and write square root. Uh, say you have a number n, and uh, your objective now is to find out what is the square root of this number n. And the method uh, is a repetitive method. In, uh, it helps to make a small table here to explain. What you do uh, is you start with a number a and then uh, you find out what is n divided by a. And you will check whether these two numbers are equal. If these two numbers are equal, then your initial guess a itself would be the square root. And if there is a difference, I just check for the difference. And if there is some difference, then I go for the next step in which I start with a different guess. And different this time, this let's say I started with some two numbers, a and n by a and I got some difference. Based on this difference, if there is a difference, I do the average of these two numbers now. Average between a and n by a and you will get a new value which I will use as a for the next step and again I do the process of calculating n by a, again check for the difference and again if there is a significant difference, again you calculate the average of these two numbers and find out a fresh number which is a and this process you will repeat again and again until you find that the difference between these two numbers is within the acceptable limits. For example, in our case we can take uh, 0 0.00001 or something like that. And at that stage when these two numbers are almost equal then you can say that uh, the square root of this n is nothing but this number because as you as you can see a and a you cancel the product of these two numbers by definition is n and these two numbers are equal therefore uh, this is supposed to be the square root of the number so that's it that is a method so let me use a numerical example to uh, tell you about this method uh, let's take a number let's say uh, the number is something like uh, i don't know 38 and now we want to find out what is the square root of this number 38. Okay. Uh, for doing this uh, above calculation, uh, I have set up one Excel. So we'll do that in Excel. So uh, we start by using the numbers. Uh, let's say my n that I'm interested is 38, as we are talking about. And my initial guess is 6 because it's somewhat closer. Now uh, for the calculation part, let's say this is, is equal to initial guess which is 6, enter. So if you see uh, I am using formulas here for everything. The formula in this is, is equal to B2 which is the initial number. One second, it helps in Entering them. Okay. Now, uh, for calculating n by a, I will say is equal to 38 divided by 6. Then I get a number n by a 6.33. There is some difference between this and this, so I calculate the difference is equal to this minus this. Now, uh, the next step is to take the average of the above two numbers. So, is equal to a5 plus v5 divided by 2 and now I will try 6.17 uh, and divide with 38 so is equal to 38 divided by 6.17 I got 6.16 which is uh, almost close but still there is some small difference uh, I will go for higher number of decimals now let's say I increase the resolution to six decimals okay so this difference is there now again I repeat the step of finding the average of the above two numbers is equal to this number plus this number divided by two I got a new value now I try out this value 
38 divided by this number yeah these two numbers are almost equal so we have a square root now the difference is 0 and the square root of, okay the difference is very small and the square root of 38 is 6.164414 in fact we can uh, repeat this process uh, let me just put in some dollars so that i can drag this formula i can start with a different number now now that we have set up uh, equation so what if my initial guess was something very wild, let's say it was something like 17. Uh, still uh, eventually the number that will come uh, for us as a square root is the same number 6.1644. Like this we can use this uh, method to find square roots. What if the number is something big? Now if I change it since we have again used Excel, this is a very convenient way. Suppose something like 1111 and the square root of 1111 is 33.331667 so on we can use this for calculating the square root of decimal numbers also for example if it is 45.1234 then again uh, we are getting 6.71395 as uh, the square root so this process uh, is fairly robust and it, it gives you the solution in four or five times when you do it and if your initial guess was really correct then you will be getting really fast uh, one last try i will give a very large number something like one two three four five six seven eight nine and now i want to find the square root of this number okay in that case you will see that we are the excel blows up with very big numbers but as you go down you see something like five thousand five hundred or eight thousand nine hundred or something similar so let me try with 5000 as my initial guess based on that okay now i am getting uh, the zero of difference yeah don't worry about this hash symbols yeah so the square root of this uh, 5000 sorry 1234567189 is uh, 11111 and so on this number so like this we can use this method to find the square roots of different the purpose of this video is that it's a way of showing how to calculate square root in the absence of a calculator or in the absence of the square root function itself in the calculator. If you have a simple pulse calculator without square root function, you can use this method to calculate the square roots. In my next video, we'll be talking about, we'll look at the same topic in a little more detail and we'll also, well, may I ask you, what if n is negative number and what will happen to this method will it be able to find the square root or not see you in the next video